This story is called Petite Rouge. It is a Cajun Red Riding Hood tale. Back in the swamp where that Spanish moss grow, I heard me a story from a long time ago. In a little old house that been built out of wood, live a girl people call Petite Rouge Riding Hood. One day, when her grandmare came down with the flu, Petite Rouge Mama told her what she got to do. Take her this gumbo and three or two sweater and some of this boudin gonna make her feel better. You can take that pierogi with that big long push pole. Then there's just one more thing that you need to be told. Don't stop in the swamp. Don't you stop on the way. Cause the swamp's full of gators. Sure, that's where they stay. So you take that cat in the pierogi with, with you and bring yourself home just as soon as you true. Petite Rouge, take that food and her old cat Tejine too. Then jump in that pierogi just like she told to do. Mama wave adieu, and Tijin he wave back, and he float through the swamp where the water look black. Then they be gone long when they see by a stomp a big, long, green log that got plenty of bump. That log, it come close to the pierogi and say, Now what you two doing out here, see vous play? It was Claude, that old gator. Petite Rouge got a haunch. That old Claude thinking he'd like to have her for lunch. <laughs> We're taking this food to my grandmare's, she say, and I got me this pole, so you get out the way. <laughs> I didn't know this book was going to be so hard to read. <laughs> Pardon, mademoiselle. I don't mean to be rude. I just thinking that maybe you'd share you some food. A taste of that boudin or shrimp etouffee. That is all I want. Then I get out the way. Petite Rouge raised that pole way up high in the air. And she look at old Claude and she give him a stare. I'm counting to three, and if you ain't, if you still dare, this pole gonna hit you right where you part your hair. And when she say one, oh Claude, back out the way, he know that the girl show sure enough mean what she say. Then La Petite Rouge pushed that pierogu again. And old Claude close his eyes and old Claude start to grin. I got an idea and I know what to do. I give me that food and that little girl too. So that gator swam fast and then quick as dim mouse, he up on the porch of Grandmare's old house. He opened the door. Then he stick in his head, and then he see Grandmare asleep in the bed. He tried to tiptoe so she hear no sound, but his tail bumped the shelf and two cups fall down. When they hit the floor, crash in break bottom cup, and Grandmare, she hear it. <laughs> He's right in the way. Grandmare, wake up. Sacre, she exclaim, I know this ain't right. Then she run in the closet and she lock that door tight. Ha ha, old oh, Claude laughed. You can hide, that's okay. In fact, it's more better when you hide this way. <laughs> Claude put on the nightgown and Grandmare's nightcap, then jump in the bed like he'd taken a nap. He pull up the covers round his big old green head and pretend that he's Grandmare just lying on the bed. And sure enough, right soon, there's a knock at the door. And Claude say, come in. What you stay outside for? 
and in walked to Jean and Petite Rouge Riding Hood, and they look at that Grand Mare. She don't look no good. Petite Rouge say, Grand Mare, your face is all green, and your skin got them bumps. Now, what do that mean? <laughs> Oh, Claude make a smile and he say, it's the blue. <laughs> it makes me all green with them dumb little bumps. That's so true. Why don't you come closer? Cause I wanna see all that good food your mama done cook up for me. Petite Rouge Riding Hood and then Tejine the cat. They take a step closer from where they was at. Petite Rouge, she said, Grandmere, I know you've been sick, but I Tink my eyes be playing a trick. Your mouth kind of big and your nose kind of long. I got me a feeling something bad wrong. I've been rubbing my nose with them tissue, said Claude, and my nose looks funny because I rub it too hard. Oh, they're measuring. That was a measuring tape. Now come one step closer, says Claude, kind of sweet, because I thinkin' that maybe it's about time to eat. Petite Rouge and Tajine get up real close. When Claude smile, Tajine turn white as them ghosts. Petite Rouge, she say, Grandmere, your teeth big and white. And Tajine and me know that something ain't right. And that's when Claude laughs and he say, Oh, my sweet, my sweet, just all right for you, but it's so right for me. Claude, throw off dim sheet and Petit Rouge shout, Aye, it's the gator who want to make lunch out of me. Claude crawl out of the bed and then onto the floor. Then Petit Rouge knew she in trouble for sure. But to Jean the cat, y'all, he know what to do. He's smart for a cat. Yeah, you know that for true. When Claude turn his back, to Jean run to the table and jump up on top just as fast as he able. He find him the bottle that said red hot sauce. Then he reach back his arm and he give it a toss. He see Petite Rouge catch the sauce in her hand. Then he pull out that basket, a piece of boudoir. He toss that boudin just when Claude start to hiss. Tajine cross his fingers and hope she don't miss. Petite Rouge wash that boudin. Come fly through the air. Then she reach up and catch it. But guess who right there? That's right, it was Claude. Petite Rouge knew one thing. Old Claude's mouth ain't open cause he like to sing. She take that hot sauce and for you count too. She soak that boudin with, with that sauce. True and true, she shoved that boudin, boudin right in front of Claude's nose, just about the same time Claude's done snap his jaws closed. He take he done bite Petite, petite Rouge Riding Hood, and at first Claude be thinking she tastes pretty good, but then he stopped chewing and close bought his eye, then sit up and think, Maybe he gonna die. He make them backflip cause that boudin so hot. And next, <laughs> this is hard. And the next thing you know, his tail tied in them knot. He dance all around, he don't know what to do. His mouth feel like fire and his nose burning too. So into the swamp with his mouth wide open. Claude jump in that water to cool off inside. And then from that closet, Grandmere, she peek out because she want to see what be making Claude shout. And when she see Claude in that swamp jumping round, she come out the closet and she dance up and down. Then Grandmere Tejine and Petite Rouge Riding Hood, 
be roll on that floor and they laugh thyself good. <laughs> I look, Mona Lisa. <laughs> then Grand Mare stand up and she dusts off her clothes. She says, who, who that fat foo shows? That food sure smell good to my nose. Now pull up some chair and let's take a look at all the good food your mama done cook. And soon they all eating that shrimp at buffet, boudin and gumbo with lots of filet. And when they are true, Petite Rouge tell Grand Mare, go sit yourself down in your big rocking chair. Grand Mare, she sit down with Tiji on her lap, and soon Petite Rouge and them all take them nap. And folks in the swamp say that sometimes they see old Claude hanging around that old stump of a tree. Cause Claude, that old gator, he finally cool down. But when he see people now, he don't come around. Old Claude reckon people be too hot to eat. He don't know that the hot sauce done made all the heat. Old Claude, he been tricked. So it all worked out good for Tojine, Grandmère, and Petite Rouge Riding Hood. The end. <laughs>